everybody. Uh, today is Monday. I'm Pastor Megan from Maitland Presbyterian Church. And on Mondays, we're trying to really focus on prayer in these uncertain times. So first, we'll share some prayer requests that came in on Facebook this morning. Uh, we've asked, we've been asked for prayer for tension that's in family systems as people are losing jobs and as families are really together, that can cause anger and frustration. And so we certainly pray for those that feel like home is not a safe or good place to be today. Uh, we've been asked for prayers just to keep families safe in general, and we certainly pray for that today, too. We pray for Aaron McGuire and for Luke Olin, both who are continuing to recover, that God would be with them and that they feel healing today. And we've been asked to pray for the Cascade Heights residents that's here in Central Florida in Longwood, that, uh, that they would be able to handle the new restrictions that are in place, which are really tough when that happens to you. We're going to do a guided prayer today. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm overwhelmed or the news is just too much. And it's a verse from Psalm 46, and it says this, verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. So here's what we're going to do. Get somewhere comfortable. Take a minute. <laughs> Take a big, deep breath. Definitely turn off the news. Maybe go outside. That's where I am. It's a lot more peaceful out here <laughs> if you're in Florida. Take a big, deep breath. And then I want you to think through that verse again. Be still and know that I am God. And today as you pray, I want you to think about how we know that God is here, how we know God's in control, how we know that we can trust God to get us through this. And then you take another deep breath. And then we're going to say, we're going to take off that just the end of the verse. Be still and know that I am. And take time in prayer to remember the I am of the Lord throughout the whole scriptures when God appears to people in the Old Testament. And he says, I am who I am. God has been here since the very beginning. And God will be with us through all of it. And we take a minute to rest in that. Then we take off another part of the verse. So we did be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. So what are some things that you know today? Well, we know that God is here. We know that God is good. We know that our church family is supporting us. So we rest in the things that we know in prayer, even when there's a lot of things that are uncertain. And then we're going to say, be still. Just be still. And I know it feels like we're really still a lot right now because we're all stuck at home but to be still and let yourself just feel God's presence and peace with you. Be still from the news, be still from the grocery store lines, be still from the chaos. And the very last part of the prayer is be, just be. Just be and know that you are enough. Be and feel God's love for you. Just be in the presence of God. So work through that exercise today in prayer. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. And work your way through breathing each time. And then lift up the prayer request from our church family. Spend some time in prayer today. God is what we've got. And God is going to get us through this. So be encouraged in that. Thanks, church family. We look forward to talking to you again soon on our social media and web platforms. Um, so join us again tomorrow. And as always, we are with you. And we're here if you need anything at all. Bye, guys.